After years of anticipation, months of testing, Detroit's new Q line will open tomorrow morning. It is going to change the way many commuters travel to and from the city, and it will have an impact on driving and parking in Detroit. Our Paula Tutman is live this afternoon with the four things you need to know about the arrival of the Q line. And I think some drivers are knowledgeable, and then there's some drivers that have no idea exactly how to handle this, Paula. And you know what, Karen, not just drivers, but how about walkers? So like for instance, right here, this is a crosswalk, right? Over here, this is not a crosswalk, but lots and lots of Detroiters go right over here, walking right there, even though that the light is against them, even though they are in the crosswalk. You're not going to be able to do that after tomorrow. It is a constant sound on Woodward. <laughs> The honking of a streetcar trying to complete its route. Only there's a vehicle on the tracks. A delivery, standing, whatever the reason. It's there, and that means the streetcar can't move forward. It's one of the four things M-Rail wants you to remember when the streetcars go into action tomorrow. If you see tracks, don't stop even for a moment. Again, if they are blocking the rail illegally, then they, they could potentially be, be told. We saw bicyclists dodging in and out of traffic, crossing the tracks against the lights. And while the streetcars mostly operate like really big, heavy cars by following the same traffic patterns and street lights, bikers are encouraged to either find alternate routes or be extra aware when there are streetcars in the area. This is 87,000 pounds of weight that is coming down Woodward. So we want to make sure people are mindful that when you see the streetcar coming, you should definitely yield and, and move out the way. Did you happen to notice that we now have an extra light signal? It tells the streetcars when to go and when motorists are supposed to yield. When you see one light up, a streetcar is approaching. It's looking for a way to transition across the road. Pay close attention when you see that additional signal light up. So the drivers will get a red light and the streetcar will get a signal that has an emblem of the streetcar to be able to go over so this way. So why is he stopping if they have the green? See how it is right there. Boom. So what is that telling drivers? They still have a red light. So they stop. The streetcar has the right of way. And while we are a city of jaywalkers. On the phones way too much and it's kind of like phone zombies. Now's the time to cease the practice because jaywalking in the area of streetcars could put pedestrians in direct contact with those streetcars. So listen, obviously we've been talking about the queue line for a long, long time, but Karen, wait until you see what happens when I saw a school bus parked on the tracks and a queue line car coming. Wait until you see what the bus driver said to me. That story today at six. How's uh, that for a tease? I do not want to get Paula Tupman mad with the school bus. All right, we'll look forward to that one. Thank <laughs> you, Paula. By the way, our coverage of the Q-Line opening continues tomorrow morning on Local 4 News Today. Traffic reporter Kim DiGiulio will have live reports, so make sure to join the morning team starting at 6 a.m. for those special Q-Line reports.